Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. In today's video we're going to talk about a luxury camp item. This is the Walk Stool Basic. Now a long time ago I had one of my viewers mention the Walk Stool Comfort to me. I did a little bit of research and figured out exactly what he was talking about. Now in that video when he made his comment, one of the things I was discussing was how I use basically a piece of cloth as a seat on my backpacking excursions and he suggested looking into the walk stool comfort. Now the further and further I got, I kind of went back and forth in my mind. I said, ah, do I want the comfort or do I want the basic? I ultimately opted on the basic for really no real good reason other than I got a good deal on it. So this is the stool that I have. This is the 50 centimeter model or 20 inch. Um, basically uh, this rings in at approximately one and a half pounds so you are adding a little bit of overall pack weight but in my opinion it is definitely weight worth having. Now a lot of times when you're out in the woods or backpacking, you kind of struggle with a place to sit. That's especially the case if it's snowy, winter time, raining, damp, uh, kind of like a dank forest with a, you know, a, a tough ground cover, no real good place to sit. That to me is when you really want to have something like a stool with you. And not only that, it gets you a little further off the ground where you're not crouched down, you're not low to the ground. And after a long day of hiking, it's really great to have a good quality place to put your ass and get some rest and stretch out your legs. Now the walk stool basic for me has been something that's made it into my pack now on a number of trips. It's really worked out great. I've used it myself, I've given it to other people, and everybody who's used it has found it to definitely be something worth having. So for me, I have very much enjoyed it. It's simple, it's reasonably light, it doesn't take up too much space, and if you're looking for a little bit of extra luxury, I would definitely recommend it. Now, as I mentioned, it is quite simple in concept. Pretty much this thing has some little red buttons here that allows it to fold up. Now, as this collapses, you'll see that it does make it significantly more compact. Basically just has a strap that wraps around the outside to allow you to snap it closed. And at that point, it is fully stowed away. So reasonably small in overall package. One thing that I do like is the fact that this does have an external loop. So I find that a lot of times when I put this in my pack, I will run my straps through that to ensure that it doesn't accidentally fall out. Now, a lot of times I find that I'll put this in my side pocket on my pack or even in the back pouch. So it's nice to have just a loop so your strap can go through it to ensure it stays put. Now, generally speaking, the surface area on the seat is ample. I believe it's a little bit larger on the comfort, but I don't really need that personally. I'm not a large guy. I'm reasonably uh, small overall. Granted, I am six foot one, but I'm not oversized by any means. So this is more than ample uh, amount of room and seat area for me. And in terms of the overall height, I found as though the 20 inch or 50 centimeter model is just about perfect. So it gets you high enough where you're up off of the ground, but you're low enough where you can still kind of do some work if you needed to. So for me, this 20 inch model is absolutely perfect. So now that you've been sitting on that thing for a little bit, how do you feel about it? It feels good. I mean, it's pretty solid on this muddy surface and just for sitting here doing general camp tasks like preparing coffee it's it's definitely pretty solid move it a little i mean do you feel like you could sit in that for an extended period of time without it getting too uncomfortable i mean definitely long enough to prepare a meal and something like that hang out for a little bit yeah, exactly yes yeah. it's comfortable nice and you think it's a pretty good height uh, in terms of you know just kind of preparing things on the ground and working on the ground actually. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Pretty stable as well. Yeah, I mean the ground is pretty moist and uh, you know, a little bit damp so it doesn't look like it's sinking in too bad there. Not terribly anyway. No. Just gotta be a little careful I guess but overall pretty good huh? Initial impressions, yeah. Nice. 
Now the other thing that you are capable of doing, which is kind of nice, if you wanted to work a little bit closer to the ground, you can fully collapse this and still use it on the ground for some basic tasks. Now you would think that that would be a little bit awkward. I mean, you're not gonna fully balance on the thing, but you're almost a perfect tripod. You still have a three point stance and it actually allows you to do some pretty good work down low and maneuver around and kind of move in different directions with ease. And I kind of like that feature about it. I didn't think I would necessarily use it this way, but I find that I do quite a bit, and overall, it does work quite well. Now, one of the things that's just been a little bit suspect, these kind of lower legs have popped off on me, so you wanna be a little bit careful. Um, I don't know if it just kind of got hooked on something in the ground, that is one of the little things you need to be careful of, the fact that these legs can penetrate into the ground while you're sitting on them. So you do need to find yourself some good firm ground or at least be a little bit mindful so that the legs don't sink in on you. Um, and in that regard, like I mentioned, I did almost lose one of these sort of foot pieces and I think that would have been a problem because inside it basically is just a hollow tube. So if you had nothing capping the end, this could easily sink into the ground. But other than that, this has been pretty much rugged and bulletproof. I've had no problems with it. It's been excellent bringing it with me. I very much enjoyed it, and I can say it's absolutely saved my butt. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A quick look at the Walk Stool Basic. You know, for me, it's something that's a little bit of a luxury, but definitely worth carrying. Not a ton of weight, not a ton of bulk, and something that at the end of a long day of hiking, I have greatly enjoyed. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.